how that teach yourself websites members one of the crappy things about wordpress's editor is that you can't do tables in it it's a it's a major shortcoming and there's but luckily there's there's a way around it you can use a uh, a plugin called tiny mce advanced and what that'll do is allow you to add extra features to this editor box so you see here on my test post i've got all my you know bolding and and uh you know lists and alignments and stuff like that but there's no thing for tables which is really frustrating so to install um something to to add tables in what you need to do is go add a new uh, plugin and do a search for tiny mce advanced And the first option here by Andrew Oz is the uh, advanced, um, allows you to add advanced features to your, um, your editor, your visual editor. So just go ahead and activate that plugin. And once it's activated, down in your settings menu, you'll have a new section there for Tiny MCE Advanced. So this is currently what the what the editor is going to look like and we want to add in some extra features here it gives you a couple of extra lines to add things into and these are the options for what you can add now i'm only really interested in one here which is the the tables bar so i can just left click and drag and drop that into place here so i'm going to add a new line with my table stuff so now that's in place i can click on save changes down the bottom and let's go and have a look at our post again to have a look at the editor and how that has changed. So now you notice that there's a few extra items uh, including this table editor here. And to add a new table, all you need to do is um, click on this left one, which is inserting a new table. It'll add a, it'll open a, a little box here. And you can determine the number of columns and the number of rows that you want. So say if I wanted a, a two by two table, I can just leave it there. Or say if I wanted more columns, I want, I don't know, four columns and uh, let's put in four, well, yeah, four rows. So it's a four by four. You can add some padding into the, into the table. So say this is um, done in pixels, so it'll be 10 pixels. Uh, and you can also put space between the cells as well. Uh, you can determine your, your alignment. So if I want it left aligned, I can also add a border and I can have it set the width. Say so if I want it at 600 pixels wide. There's also some more advanced um, settings here you can set. So like you can put the border color in if you want, which will open a color picker. Um, say if I wanted a, like a bluish border and click apply you can also change the, the background colour I'm just going to leave mine as white and um, there's also some other options there you can use so once I've uh, configured exactly what I want I can click on insert and it'll put in the table as I've specified it so I can say um, column heading 1 Yeah, I can put in more text here, more text here. I'll just put in some examples there. So if I click on save draft and then preview this post, you'll see our table has been inserted. So that's how you insert a table in WordPress. Um, you can play around with the configuration of all of these and yeah. Hope this uh, helps you out.